local dog owner is facing backlash for allowing his dog to ride on the highway on top of a cage being hauled on a trailer. Another driver posted this video online, which also shows other animals inside those cages. Now, the owner tells Action News Jax the dog is safe and secured by a harness, but new at 5, Action News Jax Lorena Inkland shows us why this setup may not have been as safe as he thought. This video has now been shared on Facebook more than 6,000 times and viewed more than 300,000. It was posted by a Flagler County woman as she drove past this SUV. Oh my God, that's a dog? People we showed the video to were outraged. This couple's jaw dropped after learning the car may have been traveling on I-95. Others wanted to report it to police. I get his license number and call the police. I spoke to the owner of the dog after he called our Action News Jack's newsroom. He didn't want to speak on camera, but he told me he felt he did nothing wrong, and he claims that the dog prefers to ride on top of the cage instead of inside with the other dogs that are visible in the video. It's difficult to say exactly how fast the car was going by just looking at the video, but the signs that we passed here on I-95 say the speed limit is 70 miles per hour. Those of us who have pets treat our pets like they're our children, and you wouldn't put your child on a cage. Um, in the back of your car. It appears this video was shot in Flagler County, but the owner of the animals lives in St. Augustine. The St. Johns County Animal Control Operations Manager tells me the video was disturbing to see. In St. Johns County, it's illegal to transport dogs this way. They have to be secured inside a pet carrier or cage. Right now, St. Johns County is conducting a wellness check on the animals. Lorena Inclan, CBS 47, Action News Shacks. The dog's owner would have been issued a $93 citation if he was caught in St. John's County.